Speaking of white women, I'll be honest with y'all. They all just moved into my neighborhood, and I'm a little bit jealous of them, and I'll tell you why. I wish that I could be as comfortable around police officers as drunk white women. I wish. Because drunk white women talk trash to the police in ways that black people can only dream about. In fact, I think black people who get killed by police, I think their spirits come back and possess drunk white women. Just so they can yell at cops from a safe area. I have a neighbor, her name is Elizabeth. Young white girl, one of those people that carries her dog in her purse, one of those jackasses, right? And I hate her dog, I hate him with a passion. Cause his name is Biscuit and he's rich and I hate him for it. He lives in a Gucci bag, you understand me? And whenever Biscuit sees me, he always looks at me like, there's a new sheriff in town. And I'm coming for your apartment. <laughs> so one day, I'm going home. I didn't know Elizabeth was a drinker. So she got drunk and was pissing in between some cars. Dog in purse, pissing between some cars. And Biscuit was so embarrassed. He was looking around like, hey, y'all, sometimes me pissing, sometimes her pissing. It depends. Now. As she's peeing, there's an officer four feet away from her. Now you would think if you peeing in the street and there's a cop four feet away from you, that you would at least try to avoid eye contact. <laughs> Elizabeth looked him right in his eyes. And he was so patient. He was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. When you're done urinating, collect your dog, and be on about your way. Elizabeth looked back at the cop and said, go to hell. You pig. There's a part of me watching her talk trash to a cop like that that's getting turned on by the whole situation. You would've thought I was watching the porn. I was like, yeah. Go to hell. You pig. You tell him, Elizabeth. Then Elizabeth did the most gangster thing I've ever seen in my life. Cause when white women get drunk and you wearing a nice hat, they want to wear it and they want to wear it now. Elizabeth shook herself off. She secured her dog. She staggered over to the cop and said, hey, give me your hat. And she reached up for the hat. And I pulled out my phone. I was like, he about to shoot this white lady. Like, I'm not excited, but I'm about to catch a unicorn. A cop is going to shoot a white lady. Not only did she not get shot, she took the hat off of his head, put it on her dog's head, said he's the officer now, and walked away alive. I saw that, a single tear rolled down my cheek and I broke out in a round of applause. But the best part about this story was that her dog looked back at me with that cop hat on like, I told you there's a new sheriff in town. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.